Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sebastian and I am the Novice Prospect. We're looking at something new today. It's called Fay Farm and the key has been provided uh, to me by the dev through Keymailer. So thanks for that. Um, and basically we're just going to have a look. I've turned the music down a little bit. Uh, control our rumble, screen shake. I don't know about simple fishing. We'll, we'll see how fishing goes and then we'll take it from there, right? Uh, I personally have Deuteranopia. So there's the color changes. Although I don't need it to be quite as strong. Right. That'll do. Nice. What else? Graphic settings. Yes, yes, yes. All that good stuff. Can we go higher than high? Uh, no, high. high is the highest you can go. Well, I think we are good to go then. Confirm. Um, does it take controller input at all? Because it says it does. I don't... Okay. Uh, play game, I suppose, right? Let's give your world a name. Uh, the novice world, right? Makes sense, I would say. Let's see. Okay, so we are loading, yes. And the game's been available since September on Steam. And let me actually go and pull up the Steam page so I can read off a few information for... Um, for use. So uh, it's Phoenix Labs that make this game basically, right? And it's been released, shush, it's been released on the 8th of September this year. And single player, it also has online co-op and we've seen that and it has partial controller support. Okay. Um, and the standard edition of the game is £30, so, well, £29.99 at the moment, whereas the deluxe edition is £49.99 and I would need to see what the difference is between those two, those two editions, but I'm sure like it's on Steam. Like, have a look yourself. Anyways, let's actually get into the game. Do we have? Yes, we have controller control. Um, now this time round, I would like to be uh... okay. I'm gonna do this mouse and keyboard. No, oh, they're all. Wait, can we not change our... I mean, if not, fine. I'm... I'm white bread. Might as well admit to that. Um... So apparently I'm going to be a female. Well, I, I think I'm more of a tall person. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm just clicking things, okay? <laughs> Eyebrow color, we're gonna go darkish. Eh, might as well. I, I like... Ooh, I want, I want like a proper blue. Yeah, I like. Uh, what else? So, eyes, uh, mouth. I have a mouth. <laughs> No, I always look like I'm gonna puke. No, that's maybe not a good idea. Eh. Yeah, I suppose this will do, right? Hair. Uh, I have hair, I'm sure. Ooh, dreads. Dreads always work. Okay. And... Well, I suppose I could be a beardy lady, right? Uh, something like so, and yes, please make 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 that make that dark, right? That, that would be nice. Uh, facial details. What do you mean? <laughs> All right. Okay. So just. Um... <laughs> and a scar. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that, and then maybe make our beard not quite as... Ooh, yes, that'll, that'll do. Uh, 
Ja. Hvor er du? Kom lige. Okay. Don't give up uh, if a fish is hard to reel in. Try eating the right food. Okay. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the staring at the uh, yeah, staring at the sand, a message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Welcome to Azoria. Okay. This, by the way, I'm fully blaming Moxie on the, uh, on this one, right? She, she, she was the one I've, I've seen her play, uh, seen, seen this play, and then my wife played this as well, and she's now got a series on it. And well, guess what? Now here I am. So you know. Okay. Uh, talk. Okay, you're the mayor. I have a quest. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is the novice prospect, and you found a message in a bottle? Excellent news. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Maya Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cosy friends, but... We're surrounded by whirlpools, and there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. And there's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine, and don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Yep, Azoria is a real paradise. I am I gonna call bull poop on that? No, don't go. Well, you, you you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. I suppose we can do that, right? Because <clears throat> a lot of that uh, uh, this gameplay is actually about doing quests and becoming friends with people, I think. And there's a map. <clears throat> I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Okay, homestead. Uh, now I go somewhere. Ah, I understand. I, I, I see the little indicator. I understand now. Like, it's interesting when you see other people play it and you're like, oh yeah, I like to do these things too, but until you actually start playing it yourself, there's things in the UI and elements that you're like, I don't know how it works. How are they doing it? Can I like pick this up? Okay, we, we, we can't do anything yet, can we? No. Okay, I, I take it this is my... Feed, pet and brush it, take your animals. Okay, my goodness. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> and, okay, you can press the up thing, you know, on the uh, analog stick. Uh, on the on, on the, the D-pad, I mean. To go into your inventory, okay. Okay, and I have nothing in there. Okay. Now I have to return to Merit. Is, is that really what we're going to do here? You have me run around all this. Okay. I suppose... Oh, you're right there. That, that, that's handy. Hello. Hi. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Well, redeem the quest. Redeemed. So what do you think of your new home? Of your new home? Welcome Pit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to li live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special, the novice prospect touch. Uh, enter on your own... No, I can't do that. Okay. Uh, Danger. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, we want to we actually make this maybe a home, homely place, okay? Um, not danger. <laughs> right? I mean, why not? 
Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Yeah, I think that's just as well. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one. Right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay, it has seen better days and will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. Now, pray tell tell me about those tools. Okay, using your tools is easy. Go to, up to object and press X. Ah, the right tool will be used automatically. Make sure to keep an eye on your energy. <laughs> With those beginner tools, you can get all things or ki uh, kinds of things done. And you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass and harvesting wild greens from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Okay, plant fibers, stone, beech logs, and... Okay. We're just collecting things. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll read mail later. I don't have time for... Ooh, hello. Not going there. Oh, a recipe? Nope. And then we'll do the... Oh, you can do that tree, I think. Yes, I understand. That was my fault. Sorry. Just cut that. Okay. I, I like to have plenty of wood. I like some of my wood. I want spring greens, more plant fibers. Found something there. What's this? Clay and silt. Is this an endless thing or no? It's not. I, I didn't think it would be. Okay, clay pot I can make, and we're finding some stone. Obviously, got to watch that energy. Yeah, I notice. And also, um, two seconds. I'm noticing I may be completely in the way, right? Um, well, actually, not, not, not so much. No, I'll be. I'll, I'm fine there. Cool. Um, I need these, and I need more of this. Now, when wood's not enough, you need, you need, you need rock. And pick. And let's go and see Merit. Hello. Azoria's the better for having you. Mm, if you say so. You haven't seen the things I get up to. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself. But it's as easy as falling down. I do that a lot. Okay. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, you just check your almanac. Okay. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. Okay. Woven stool. Uh, inside my home. Now one goes push down on the D-pad, okay, and then I RB and LB to find crafting. Oh, apparently I've, I've I've selected the right thing automatically. I'd want to understand how I did that. Oh, right, this is actually the round woven stool. Sorry, it, it didn't look like a woven stool to me, but fine, okay. Um, just blame that on me, I don't have much creativity. Right, click! Ah. Okay, sweet, we have that now. Hello there. Happy to have you around. Redeemed. 
Okay. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, the novice prospect. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built your mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should do build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some wild greens around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Uh, a cooking fire in the area cleared outside. Cook some... yeah. So I have to build us down here apparently. Fine. We, we, we can do that. The build catalog. And you've already selected that for me. How very considerate of you. And I think I want this... More like here. Sort of out the way for now. But close to home. Yes. And then... Use... Cook them all. Just do it. Okay, I'm gonna let him do that. Um, clear a bit more area here so I can see what I'm doing. That would be nice, I think. And then I like to get rid of the actual stump as well. And get rid of that. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I know I can't pick that up. So we have things and collect them all. Yes, thank you. Now we return. Talk. Hello, Hello there. Azorius, the better for having you. You, you. you keep saying that. But you, you haven't seen what I do. Let me see what you've cooked to the novice prospect. Bravo. You see, with the cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home-cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. I know what you're thinking. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beads. Soil beds. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Thanks for letting me know. Go get the materials in your storage shed. Then construct some soil beds in your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay. Uh, retrieve turnip seeds from your sheds. Uh, basic soil beds, three, and plant those turnips. I don't like turnips. Do we have to do turnips, really? Soon you'll be enjoying fresh azorium produce. You're going to be so uh, you're going to be so self-sufficient. You can thank me later. Uh, sorry, my phone's kicking off at the moment. No, no, no. Uh, let's go. Storage shed. Use. I keep pushing A, not X. Um, so what do you have? You have what? Why do I not see descriptions of things? Like, does it not? Should it not tell me what things are? Well, okay, you click on them. Fair enough. Uh, transfer the stack. Just take it all. I, I don't even care, right? Uh, what is this? This is sand, okay? And this is silt, which we've already picked up some. That's good. And then this is our food that we've cooked. Can I... I need to now figure out quickly how to eat this. Consume! Needs more. Needs all of it. Um, okay. I think I would like to quickly go and pick more of this and get more on the go. Just more food. Um, here. 
So I was, I, I thought it was this game where you collected butterflies. Maybe later. Uh, not worried about that. No. Yeah, just stick what we've got in the fire. Boom, click. Um, all five of them, please make them, right? Good. Uh, craft and place soil bits. So let me clear a space here. Nice. Um, down, build catalog, fencing, rugs, path, decor, farming, basic soil bed, and then a bunch of undiscovered items. Okay, fine. Select, and then you say three for now, right? Like so. Turn up, see. Um. So that's with X2, okay. And then let's go and pick all those up. Thank you. And let's talk to Merit again. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Uh huh. We'll see. Wonderful job. Soon your fields will be spout, uh, sprouting with ground grown goodness. Say that three times fast. Ground grown, grown goodness. No, thank you. You're, you're, you're okay. I've said it twice now. Just don't forget to water your seeds. They don't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, then you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers, as I always say, don't. Don't leave them alone. Ha ha, we have fun. <laughs> You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbours. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the Mariner. He's probably near his home in, in Stay a While Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to, tail, to share. Okay. I guess I can meet a neighbour or two if I have to. Eddie, track him. Okay, so we're, we're going down. Is there any, any, any zooming in or out? No, there's not. Okay, I was just trying to find out. Does that sign say something? The town center. So if I followed you along this way, because you, you, you are more pointing this way apparently. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Bamboo rug. Oh, hello, fish. Okay, you can't... Certain jumps you can do, certain jumps you can't. It's fine, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, give me that. Uh, aqua woven rug. Hmm. I like deep blue things. Okay. Hello there. My first ship was Sandy and she was just a wee boat. She probably settled near Davy Jones' locker after the cat which clawed a hole in her side. Okay. If you say so. Good to see you. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie. I saw your old mariner. I hear you've got a little farm going. I want to hold it against you, even though fishes and farmers uh, have been at odds forever. Uh, I, I don't know. Never mind that. You haven't lived until you fish, believe me. Give me these seas over these trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Okay, let, let's go. Let's catch a fish, any kind like salt or fresh water. I'll even give you my old rod, may it serve you well. I am not entirely sure if I want his old rod, but it's it's fine. <laughs> uh, RB and LB is to change tools, okay? Yeah, yeah, I understand roughly how that works, by the way. Because I've seen it a couple of times now. Okay, there's... Alright, I understand. No, I need to be on land for this, right? That that would help. Okay, let, let's find a... Right, get it. Go on.
and then just, you know, make sure he doesn't get too far away. And don't snap the line. And there we go. Hello, fish. And, you know, that's that's really fairly straightforward if you know what fishing is all about. Well, like, if you've done it yourself. <laughs> Redeem the quest. And as you seem to have done well for yourself, tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to become a marin master. A marine master. Uh, maybe you'll even leave the farm farm for the seas one day like I did. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel the beekeeper can teach you about critter catching and you're going to want to pay attention to that. Okay. Give me the map. Uh, somewhere up. You see. Okay. I'll just put it there and wait for him to come back. That's it. Come on. You want it. There we go. And I've seen another one here. Yes. 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 Uh... I know you want to. Go on. Go on, just just bite it. No. Go and stick that there, right? Just. Go on. No. Turn around. Right there. Good. A fish, a fish, a fish. Come on. Okay, uh, bring it in. Right here. Okay. Nope. Should have waited with that. I really wish you could turn the camera here. That's, that's my only little gripe, if I want to say. If, if there's a gripe as such. <coughs> um... Like, controls are really easy to pick up. I like that they're always on screen. Oh, let's just cancel, right? We'll do this another time. We'll we'll go fishing another time. Oh, is it up here? Yes. Um, you know, the, the graphics are really nice looking. I'll say that. It can be fairly hungry. Like, I've seen my wife's old machine handle it not so well. However, she's now got an i5 uh, 8th gen machine, which handles absolutely fine with a 3060 or 3050 in it sorry um but you know it's not high requirements especially if you're running it in in lower um, not resolutions well resolutions help as well but lower settings um uh, you could hardly believe it yeah I, I've, I've heard of your bad puns um anyways I would say it's definitely a game that is casual, maybe not so much. You're going to need to invest time, I think. Like, there's a lot involved here. Four critters. Let's let's go and not, not fishing. This is different critters we're getting. And then swing it. There's one. A peacock butterfly. And get you. Ooh, got two at a time. Did not know you could do that. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, but there's a lot to do here. And uh, I sort of like the fact that you can sort of get yourself involved in your own little farm, your own little world, and, you know, just take a break. I think this is what 
for me sort of attracts me to games like Fay Farm. Okay, uh, go and meet Pearl the, the, the chairwoman. Let's let's go and just run through the tutorial a little bit quicker. And, oh, uh, it probably helps if I actually, you know, got Pearl. Track her, please. Although I feel like it's going to be night time soon. And I'd probably want to be home for that, right? Carl, where are you? Ah, oh, yes, you want me to sell in the market. Yes, good. Um, redeem quests, right? Hello, uh, entrepreneur, you must be the novice prospect. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchant's Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of, am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold hot Florence? It's true, you can sell that stuff for Florence right here now. Well, in the market and the money isn't deposit... Well, in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Uh, now it's not the time for questions, it's the time to learn. Pay attention because I'm about to say, what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells, everything. Plant fibers sold, clay sold, spring paper sold. And it's so easy, uh, it's so easy a chick who could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables and by next morning it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who is buying everything? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I like it when the answer to something is, don't worry about it. <laughs> and Zoria has simply a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillar that says, one Azorian's inventory is another resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table and to sell them. May, may a mer a Merit will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find it when you're done. Okay, three items to sell. I'm sure we can, we can probably find more to sell, right? Like, um... I don't think I want to sell those, but yeah, silt. I, I can. S I, f I know where to find clay and silt. I like so. Right? And then going to give me this table, and we're going to do, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm hmm. Seems reasonable to me. Right? Now, Merit, where, where, where art thou? You'll be in the town center, won't you? Uh, that way. Oh, you're right here. Hello. Uh -huh. Um, yes, you see, you keep saying that. Uh, chapter one completed. You're back. Uh, I've been hearing such wonderful things about you. Sounds like you're becoming a real Azorian and I'm furious about getting shipwrecked here. Yay. All's well that ends well. You get a house and a farm and we get our first new resident in... Well, I can't remember. I don't actually remember when the whole... Uh, when the whirlpool appeared, when the whirlpools appeared, but things weren't going great even before that. But nothing you can't handle. Now that you've got your tools, rod and net, you can handle anything. So, so many questions. There will be plenty of time for answers, but you must be so tired of talking. How about we put a pin in this and you head on home? Great. I think you're going to do great things for Azoria. Yeah. Great or evil. We, we were not quite decided yet. And a lot of email. And what happened there? I don't quite understand. Market results, okay. And more quests, and I've got achievements, and, and all sorts. Okay, I've made money. A thorny problem. Yes, we need to take care of those torrents. Oh, apparently I had a good sleep. I looked a bit down there for a second. I was... Uh, that was weird. Uh, actually, I'm wondering... We have a few resources. Maybe we can build something nice to upgrade our house a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, like a rug? So give me the build catalog and... Ooh, a beverage station. We need clay for that, okay. Um, clay pot. Here's rugs, right? This is all in plant fibers. What do you mean? Undiscovered item. Oh, okay. I need to figure out how to make something for that. Um, I I like you drugs. I, I I mean, I like I really like their look and that. So let me. Is 
top knight is. I, I think that's quite cool. Although... Oh, come on. Bear, and then... Ah, missing plant fibers. I'm gonna grab them. I want that finished. I want a nice big rug there. Um... There's only two, so I'm gonna just quickly. Eh, eh. All right, okay. So you you get the full materials back. I love that. Thank you. All right, that is so awesome. And there's the rug that I wanted. Okay, cool. Check the mailbox. Let's let's go and do that. <clears throat> Uh, read. Multiplayer is open, okay. Main menu is like multiplayer to begin. You can then invite your friends to to your online game. Or if you would rather host a local game, ask if your friends to love how you join world screen. Okay. Uh, more, more letters. Uh, interested in dice, so we've got those unlocked. Um... The recent magical windstorms that sent debris flying had a most peculiar effect on our shop. Uh... Recipe scrolls in all directions. Okay. Customization mirror. Oh, okay. This magical invention permits you to change your hair and all that. Okay. So you might have noticed might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it's kind of it kind of is. Can you come over and talk, please? Aladdin the visit. Okay. <coughs> oh, okay. Is uh, add those items to my inventory? Did I miss that anywhere else? No. Um. So we've we've got a bunch of things: straw, farmer outfit, and a cap. Okay. And upon. <laughs> Will you join us, Mayor? Mayor? Yes, I am already joined. So this is like the initial in invitation. Okay. Let me. No, I, I want to understand something else. Let me... Is it inventory? Possibly? Edit outfit, that's what I want. For now, right? Because I have a pharma outfit I can equip. Can we change the color on that? Okay, I haven't many colors. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna just leave it. That's fine. Um, and I have a hat. It's a weird French hat, but I'll, I'll take it. What? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll like to eat some straw. I like to have anything in my mouth. I'll, I'll do. Um. Okay. Next. Let's let's cook up some food. Right. Boom boom. Get those in there. And then we need to find Alaric. Um, Alaric. Okay. Sweet. Gonna just wait for oh but they're both done. Good 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 good. Um no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that's my fault. Just blame the stupid player. Eh, same there. Okay, it's ah, it's, it's a darker color that makes it. So it's like birch and oak, maybe. Right, and oak's, oak's gonna be a lot harder to cut. Uh, obviously, then say birch. This. Come on. Get rid of the stump as well. And then what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna have an area further over where I'm gonna leave some of the stumps intact so that, you know, they, they can regrow. I mean, I don't know if that's a thing, but we're gonna try it. <laughs>
Just a little bit of a cleanup here. Yeah, I would like to do that. Good, 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 good. Costing me a lot of energy, but oh well, you know, them's the breaks. And I can easily go in and I have cooked fish, consume and eat those two and see what happens, right? Sweet. Yeah, this this is better now. So how does one water? Like, I I know she said to me to do it, but. Ah, okay. You you just hit X while you're near them. Fine. I wonder, should I... You know, build more of those? Like so. And then... Like so, right? Makes sense. And... I should have done this yesterday. Oh, well, you know, when I say yesterday, I mean in-game yesterday. Now, where does one... Ah. Okay, that, that one's actually obvious off. <laughs> Door's locked. Okay, I thought Alaric would have been there. Yeah, I definitely want, don't want me to go there yet. Find Alaric. Um, is it here? Yes, he is, apparently. He's in East Town. That looks like a bit of a travel. So let us just investigate and see if we can find him. I want magic. Um... <laughs> Yay, spring peepers. There we go. Oh, hello, Alaric. There you are. That wasn't all that far. The wisest wizard in town. Also, the only wizard in town. So wisdom is very okay. Uh, redeem uh, magic questions. You can always come to me. I, I have a quest I can give you to redeem. Salutation. My name is Alaric, and you, uh, your humble visit of Azoria. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, of course, you're wondering why I emailed you. Okay, so um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic to be specific. As an uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Okay. Oh no, I didn't m mean to worry you. No, wait, I, I do. Because it is pretty dangerous. You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. I know. I'm, I'm well aware. I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. Okay. Okay, apparently you're hungry. Mussels. Broiled shellfish. Okay. Uh, where, where, Where is the beach? Apparently not there because, you know, the thorn saith so. Blue checkered rug. There's a recipe up here I would like. And that's just dirt and that. Okay, where is... Ah, beach. I'm going sort of the right way. Ooh. How in the heck? We can get there. Give me a rocking chair. Woohoo! Ah. What are you doing, Sebastian? This this is not. Yes, muscles. Pick that up. Might as well, right? While we're here, and what's this? Yeah, just sand and clay. But we'll take it. And while we're here, might as well. Hey, a sand dollar. 
What do you, do you actually pay something with it? I, I doubt it, but uh, just picking up things that are actually just easily pick upable. Is that even a word? Pick upable. Well, I'm I'm making it a word right now. Okay, it is now a word on this channel. I, I know there's a thing there. Oh no, there's not. Okay. Now I need to go run all the way back home to go and cook a meal for him. I mean, what would it look like? His cook? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Fence. I don't... Ooh, I missed that. A cop. Awesome. But, like, honestly, what do I look like? His cook? His personal cook? I mean, fine, if you're hungry, I'll feed you this once, but... You know? Teach a man to fish and all that? Have you ever heard of that concept? Yeah, Alaric. Uh, yeah, go and click. I as well we're here, just sort of clean up a bit. That, thank you. What is this? A peridot seal. Okay, we, we, we don't have that. Whatever it is good for, we shall find out when we do it. Um, give me those ones and the rest stay there and I can... I forgot. I forgot. Ooh, what's this? Huckleberries. Where's the fins then? I mean, come on. If, if you're making huckleberries somewhere, or if you're planting huckleberries somewhere, then you've got to plant some fin as well. Like so. Talk. Quest. I have home cooked food. There. Give one. Now we're acquaintances. Okay. You're back. I smell food. I can feel the life returning to me. I can I can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning you'll have your very own magical stuff. Woohoo! Now I don't normally recommend anyone to work all night, but Times are dire. Okay, come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Okay. And, yes. It's already late in the afternoon. So that's fine. Let's go back home, so, so to speak, and just, you know, do a bit of final cleanup here. Like so. Get, grab that. Um, nice big area there. That's what I wanted. Good, getting the efficiencies up as well. You know, all that, learning our skills. But I, I will say, you know, I have a really just good feel about this game. It's, it's very... I, I want to say wholesome almost in a way, which is very unusual for my channel. <laughs> um, but I actually enjoy the, 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 yeah, I suppose simplicity of, you know, the controls. It's really very easy to get a hang on, a hang of. Um, and then there's this whole sort of, yeah, this is my space. I'm now de developing it, you know, the way I want to. And... I like that. There's something very soothing for me about that. So let's go to the market quickly. Um, I cannot remember exactly down. 
Uh, I think right. Oh no, we're right here. Perfect. Uh, we're going to sell I don't know, a whole table of them. And then I shall sell them because they were easy enough to make. Although, wait. Um, no. Don't sell that either. What else? What, what else can we, can we sell? Um, maybe them. And then we'll sell... We'll sell some butterflies. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, there we go. Right, boom. And yeah, really just good impression and gameplay is very easy to pick up. It's, it's smooth as anything. I have no issues there. I'm not sure where my... I'm, I'm looking for my GeForce performance overlay. Which should tell me how many frames per second I'm looking at, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Um, but it, it feels very smooth. So, you know, I can't complain there. No issues at all. Home options. Alright, okay, so you could have multiple homes. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and I would just absolutely recommend this to anyone who wants to just have that sort of chill experience to just... <laughs> Um, you know, have a little place that you call your own, and then possibly you can go and join your friends. Um, I mean, here's our almanac. You've got a whole bunch of information there. Everything's explained. Um, we need to discover all those items, which makes sense, you know, but I, 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 I like that. There's a lot of discovery here. There's a lot of potential for for you know interactivity with friends you can just have fun there let's go and save while we're at it um oh dungeon tracker um okay and here's the multiplayer part so we could then say we could find friends that we've met through the game or we could host online and have other people join us or we could join them through their uh, request. I mean, I like it. Uh, no, I'm wondering, can I steam friends? Because I know my wife plays it, right? So is that a thing I can say, hey, add, add that player? Like, Hmm. I, I don't know how that would work. You'd probably need to do it as a as a um, Phoenix Lab friend, right? And you would add one. No. Uh, yeah, you would search. I mean, I think she's just done this I, th I think I kind of remember no RB I want to type in there again okay it's if we just search for Vonnie no no I don't think that she would have done that uh -uh. Nope. So, no. I'm going to have to wait and see until she's home. Because she's actually out at the moment. Um, <coughs> and, you know, get get uh, my wife's invite. And then we can, you know, visit each other's worlds. Uh, okay. But, you know, there's, there's a whole potential here for spending hours and days and weeks with your friends. And just building farms and discovering this island. I, I, I really love it. Um, but with that, I think I'm going to go back to the main menu and just, yeah, you, you know my overall impression. You, you get a sense of the gameplay, I think, very much so. Um, and 
while yes it's it's definitely a good little escape probably for yourself i think the real the real benefit here or the, the real replayability factor and playability factor is playing with your friends that that's going to be the big thing here right um but yeah if you like this sort of content by the way if you want to see more of fey farm let me know down in the comments that's you know quite important for me to know in my sort of first video if i want to continue with that or not um probably going to join my wife in in her future streams and try and help out things things like that um see what moxie says you know that's a, <laughs> that sort of thing and just yeah help each other out that sort of thing yeah you know that's that's what i feel really is this game what this game is all about and yeah thanks again to key Miller for putting me in touch with the dev um phoenix labs yeah for, for giving me a key and letting me review this game here on youtube and i may actually put a couple of twitch streams up on this i i, I don't know yet um, if anything, though, it would be probably joined with my wife, so you know that we'd have that interactivity and we can show off that aspect of the game. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, you know that usual stuff, and let me down, let me know down in the comments um, if if you want to see this again or what you think of the game, and so forth. Until then, thanks again. Peace out and bye.